Now I'm usually a big fan of uh, Anchor products, but the Anchor Nano, this cable, is a giant walking red flag. For my reviews, I test all my cables by measuring charge and data rates, then bending them thousands of times using my custom Master Bender 9000. Then I retest everything to see what the bending did. Now really, this cable is just a charge cable. It's 240 watts certified. The cable itself is super flexy, which is kind of annoying to use. I don't like cables that are super stiff. It just flops around, it's annoying. The connector is a little smaller than average than the average 240 watt USB-C cable, and I do like the uh, contrast between the tops and bottoms of the connector head. Also, Anchor's got about four colors with this product, so, you know, if you like purple. In terms of length, I got the three foot one, uh, approximately one meter, and this thing gave me an extra three centimeters. So 1.03 meters, woo! Now in terms of charging performance, this thing had a lot of trouble hitting uh, 15 watts consistently. Voltage drops were higher than average at 0.81, and cable resistance was again higher than average at 0.24. For me, those are all red flags, especially before a bend test. For data, the speeds for large files was very average, but I had to do this test multiple times because I kept getting seven megabytes per second for one of my transfer tests. From a mixed file transfer, read speeds were average for USB 2. I did notice the write speeds for the 5 gigabyte file tests being a little higher at 40, and that's a red flag. Now in terms of durability, Anchor says, I could bend it 30,000 times. Now you know me, I'm generous, so I bend it 33,000 times, using my Master Bender 9000. The green end is what was bent, the other end was what not was bent, and you can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference. I thought this cable was amazing for doing that. When I retested for charge, this thing failed even more times than before. Out of the 20 tests I did, only one worked. And from that one test, it showed the cable suffering a voltage drop of six volts, which is a far cry from the average and, you know, from before. And the resistance went from 0.24 to 1.32 ohms. That's a giant red flag. But unlike some of the other cables, my data speed tests worked. The write speeds were a little higher than before. For the one gigabyte mixed folder, read speeds went from 40 to 944. I did that test twice and that's what happened. But with the five gigabyte mixed folder, write speeds were the same. I have no idea what is going on. Going on. If I had to hypothesize, the chip that Anchor uses in this cable is actually throttled, is my guess. And from all the ew, 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 to, that I did to this cable, um, it must have damaged part of the de-throttling. So like some things worked really well, got better, and some things just didn't. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Again, walking red flag from my perspective. In terms of price and value, this thing will cost you an extra dollar more than average. Would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? The answer is no! This thing is just way too inconsistent for my liking. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best USB-C cables are. I've tested a bunch of them, uh, all with my Master Bender 9000. If you're planning on getting one, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Do not care which brand you go with. All I care is that you get the best one for your needs. Using my links because I helped you figure out which one to buy. Thanks for watching.